Well, guys, now we do short answer questions with one word only. And remember, when they say one word only and no number, uh, sometimes they say one word and or a number. Then you can write number. When they only mention one word only and the answer is a number, you will write number in words. Yes. So one word only and with one word only, never add any article, any extra word, a book, the table, some people. If the answer is people, just write people. I mean, uh, many students, what they are doing, I received messages uh, this week because IELTS result was announced for uh, 19th December. The result was 19th December, when, when, when we had the exam? I guess 19th December, right? So uh, the students are really shocked to see their reading result and listening result and say, we performed very well. So what are the mistakes? When they fill the answer sheet, they are doing a lot of mistakes there. So if you just get four, if you miss four to five answers, or you write them or you misspell them, or you don't follow the instructions, it's one word only, you write two words. So definitely four, five score. I mean, if it is less than that, uh, most obviously if 30 correct answers, you will get seven band. If they are 26, so it's going to come down to 6.5 and all that. So be careful when you fill the answer sheet. That's extremely important. You might lose one band to half band if you fill the answer sheet in a wrong way. Okay. And if you are frustrated, one of my students, what did she do? Answer of question number five, she wrote on six. And then all the series. I mean, just imagine. Yeah. So be careful. They will not see bichare se galti ho. No. Because they want your... Money, yeah, exactly. One of the movies, uh, there was a she wants your money, something like that. Okay, so question number six. Again, we will read the question, find a clue word, and go back to the passage and look for that clue word, and questions and answers are in order. Question number six. Which part of some step wells provided shade for people? Look here, look here. The answer is a part of a step well. That part, imagine, I mean step well, like Syria Niche Jari, step well, you might have seen somewhere. We, we do have them in, uh, in Pakistan also, like uh, I've seen one in Kasur, and I've seen, Hiran Minar is a very good example of step wells. There are steps and going down. So the question answer is a part of step well, and that part provides shade to people. Now look here, the clue word is shade. What are the synonyms of shade? Like shelter, shade, shelter. It keeps the people away from heat or anything like that. Okay, shade, shelter. Now you got to see the name of the part which provides shade or shelter to the people. And for people, they can use any other word, right? So let's go back and we are going to scan the word shelter. Shade, shelter, shade. Shelter, just keep that in mind. Page number 17, scan ahead after true, false, not given. And tell me if you find the word shade or shelter. Well done. Shade or shelter, got it? Got it? Page number 17, second last paragraph. And see if you find the word shade or shelter. Got it? Okay, sheltered visitors. For people, they have used the word visitors. Okay, now let's read this together. They have mentioned built from stone and supported by pillars. They also included pavilions that sheltered. Now that means pavilion. Ah, no, 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 no. That means no. Listen, listen. This is very, very important. We call it referencing. Right? So they commonly use referencing in listening and in reading. What is that? Listen, let's read carefully together. Built from stone and supported by pillars. Now, whatever they built, I mean that part, it is built by stones, supported by pillars. They also include pavilions that sheltered visitors. Now, that means... Huh? Step well. How can step well be the answer? That, that means it's coming right after pavilion. Exactly. It's coming. I mean, just see that. Just see that. Listen, listen. Let's just do it again. Built from stone. One part. Separate part. Okay. And supported by pillars. 
supported by i mean if if this uh, room is supported by pillars so i cannot say pillars i will say room room gives the shelter not pillars give the shelter right so they say uh, supported by pillars they also included they means that step wells included pavilions that sheltered visitors pavilions that sheltered so the answer is pavilion right they also included pavilions that sheltered so that goes back to pavilion and this is what we call referencing they use the word this that such such people first they talk about type of people and then they say such people such places and the answer is a place right for example if i say the most interesting place is new york right and then they say new york is a wonderful city such cities can be most interesting for some tourists so such cities means new york so such that this is what we call referencing and this is how they confuse you say so, okay answer is pillars and once you find the wrong answer you are relaxed i found the answer aur ki ho sakta hai yeah pillar is written there and all that and always remember with the right answer very tactfully they give you two three options and the other options are now if you write pillars that's not the right answer because you need to find a place that provides shelter so the answer is pavilions okay yeah plural uh remember when you have to select a word from the passage write the word as it is written in the passage same spelling same number singular or plural if in the passage they write tv you write tv if in the passage they write television then you write television but don't change the spelling don't change anything about the word question number 7 what type of serious climatic event now look here look here rewording we've got this question based on rewording climatic event what is climatic event flood earthquake right and then this is serious climatic event means disastrous climatic event so they say here uh, what type of serious climatic event which took place in southern rajasthan is mentioned in the article go ahead go to southern rajasthan look for the word serious climatic event after pavilion go on look for the word rajasthan and then see serious climatic event and if you find the answer don't tell me unless i ask you very good you do like this huh for serious they use the word suffered rajistan suffered an eight year drought so serious climatic event climatic event means when it doesn't rain for years that results in dryness and we've got the droughts so the right answer will be drought got it it's on page number 18 you are looking at the wrong place page number 18 first paragraph first few lines on top 1996 and 2004 okay serious climatic event for that they use i mean they could use the word earthquake or they could use flood or anything like that earthquake cannot be climatic but floods can be climatic if it rains a lot okay now let's move on question number 8 who are frequent visitors to step wells nowadays look here which paragraph will you look for yeah last paragraph see it's easy this is how you can manage your time also go back who are frequent visitors to step wells nowadays and read in your heart no whispering in actual test you are not allowed to whisper frequent visitor 
and they're using the word flock. So, what's the answer? Hmm? Okay, yeah, listen please. Come to last paragraph, then we'll stop for Azan. Last paragraph and it's uh, fifth line. One, two, three, four, five. Importance of preserving them as part of the country's rich history. After that, tourists flock to wells in far-flung corners of northwestern India to gaze in wonder at these architectural marvels. Who? Tourists. Right? So, who is the frequent visitor now? Tourists will be the answer. Right? Thank you.